Iraqi forces are fighting door to door in the old city of Mosul in some of the fiercest fighting of the seven month offensive. Narrow alleyways and tight streets make it impossible for armed vehicles to get through. And the constant gun and mortar fire can be heard in neighborhoods where 400,000 civilians are believed to still be trapped. Backed by the U.S. led coalition, Iraqi forces began the offensive to retake Mosul last October. They took the cities east in January and a month later launched the offensive to retake the west. And by April, they had surrounded Daesh in the northwest quarter. And for the soldiers on the ground, it's a slow fight. They've had to dodge booby traps and snipers. Iraqi and U.S. commanders are offering conflicting accounts of just how much of western Mosul has been seized. Some Iraqi commanders say Daesh controls just 15 percent. The U.S. says that figure is almost double that. But both sides agree the worst of the fighting is still to come. It's occupied by a civilian population that's been under the control of Daesh and with an enemy that will indiscriminately use the population for whatever reason they want. So it makes it a tough fight. But an Iraqi commander says they're forcing Daesh to retreat one step at a time. <laughs> Daesh is attacking our defensive lines, but each time we repel them and they pull back, leaving bodies of their dead fighters behind. Minutes ago, they launched an attack and we responded by shelling them. Soldiers now have the Grand al-Nuri Mosque in their sights. It's here that Daesh leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi declared his so-called caliphate. Capturing it would mark a symbolic victory over Daesh and signal the end of their reign in Mosul. Keisha Ferguson, TRT World.